Welcome guys to another video. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how we'll create a text to speech program in .NET C Sharp. C Sharp .NET. So mm, this program converts the text into speech. So we'll first have a look at it. Hello, my name is Darcy. Please enter your text and press enter. So this is Darcy, a program. Now I'll show you what it can do. Hello. Please like and subscribe. So as you can see it um, speaks whatever I type. Like now I'll Let's have a look at the source code. So we'll now have a look at the source code of this program. So this is our source code. And we'll add it to using statements here. System.speech and system.space.synthesis. These two class libraries are going to help us to create this program. Uh, so if you're using an IDE like Visual Studio Shop Develop, um, you'll need to add a reference to the system.speech in your project. But uh, if you're using command line compiler, um, for that um, you'll just add these two statements to the top of your program. And now then we have namespace speech class program and then we declare a global speech synthesizer variable named Darcy, uh, which is initialized in the main function. New speech synthesizer rate is minus two and volume it will be hundred. And uh, if we want to make Darcy speak something, we'll type we'll that Darcy that speak and the text to be spoken. Like hello, my name is Darcy, which speaks when the program is loaded. And then we have a string which uh, is first written on the console and then spoken by Darcy. And then the speak function is called. What the speak function does is uh, speaks whatever you write in the console for that the, for this the statement will be darcy.speak convert to string console.readline and then after speaking the speak function will be called again so this will be um, a loop till the program is closed so this is the source code and um, for all the beginners here I'm gonna start from scratch and write the program so uh, you, can, you can follow me step by step and it'll be easy for you. So I'll create a new solution here. We'll name it anything. Okay. Now we'll get RC again. So this is a brand new program in IDE. So we don't we have to write the using statements here but we don't have ref reference to speech here so we'll first add a reference so Darcy and references so you can see we don't have a reference uh, we'll go to add reference this procedure might be a bit di uh, different in Visual Studio um, I'll be here So there it is, system.speech. Now you can see we have a reference to system.speech, and now we can put the using statements here. Speech and system.speech does synthesis. So these two using statements will add. And now we'll first remove this. We don't need this all. Now we will declare a global variable. This will be out of all the function. This will be in our class, which is named program. So we'll be public and static speech synthesizer named 
or so you can name it anything. So we'll declare it RC here and we'll initialize it. Speech synthesizer. And we'll set the volume. We'll set it to 100. You can also decrease it. And the speaking rate will be minus 2. We don't want Darcy to speak very fast. Now, so we have initialized, and the pro when the program will be loaded, Darcy will introduce itself. So, for that, we'll write Darcy dot speak, and the text to be spoken. So we'll speak. Hello, my name is Darcy. And now we'll check if the program is running well. Okay, Hello, run it. my name is Darcy. Okay, so it is running well. Now we'll create a new string. So this is a string and this will be first written in the console. this way and then Darcy will speak it so Darcy will speak text and we'll again have a look at the program hello my name is Darcy click and center your text here and press enter ok so this what happened there Please enter your text here and press enter. Okay, now we'll make a new function named speak public word speak. Okay, we'll need it to static. The public static word speak. So now the speak function, what it will do is it will speak the text which will be entered in the console so for that we'll need Darcy dot so it will speak what is entered in the console so we'll first convert it to string to string and the text console dot read line okay so and now um if you do this only once what you'll see that the program will exit after you enter text to one so we'll see this okay we got we got one error 35 2 what happened here we haven't, haven't got a parenthesis for this one okay we'll compile it hello my name is Darcy Please enter your text here and press enter. So you can see it quits itself after once the speak function is called. So to avoid that, at the end of ev every time the speak function will end, it will be called again. So this will be an infinite loop till the program is closed. Hello, my name is Darcy. Please enter your text here and press enter. Uh, let's close again. Oh, we didn't call the speak function from here. Okay, the speak function will be called after main. Hello, my name is Darcy. Please enter your text here and press enter. Hello, Darcy. You are working fine. So, bye. This was a program, and uh, guys, thanks for Hello, watching. Hello, my name is Darcy. Please enter your text and press enter.
Please subscribe and thanks for watching Circumflex Absent underscore Circumflex Absent. Okay, so thank you. Please subscribe for more stuff like this.